I am KX90. Welcome back to part 3 of the introduction to Airbit by Makeit. We will start on the website shown on the screen now and scroll down to Airbit. We are going to download the pre-made codes for the remote controller, sender and the Airbit drone. These files will be downloaded to the folder called download. It doesn't matter where you keep the files as long as you can find them. Then we're going to left click and drag the file over to the program called MakeCode. Information about where to find this program and the program you can use on the browser will be described in the description to this video. It's important to remember that the number shown or a number that you type in yourself in a radio group has to be the same on the next code for the quadcopter. If the numbers doesn't match, you won't get any signal from the airbit. Connect the remote controller to your computer with a USB cable, wait until you see the LED indicators light up, then click download in the program called MakeCode. After you clicked download, the code will be loaded onto the microbits on the remote controller. Do not disconnect the USB cable before the code is done loading onto the microbits. If done correctly, the number you typed into the code or just the number that already was there will be visible on the LED indicators. When the code is done loading onto the microbit, disconnect the remotes, then go back to the home page in the program called MakeCode. Now we're going to repeat the process, but this time with the code to the airbit called Drone. Drag the file to the program called MakeCode. Type in the number you selected in Radio Group, make sure that it is the same number that was visible on the remote controller. Connect the airbit to your computer with a USB cable. Wait until you see the LED indicators light up, then click download in the program called MakeCode. Remember to not disconnect the airbit before the code is done loading onto the airbit. If done correctly, the number you typed into the code or just the number that was already there will be visible on the LED indicators. When the code is done loading onto the airbit, disconnect the quadcopter and we are ready for the next step. And now some additional information about how to use MakeCode on a browser. Using MakeCode on a browser is just like using MakeCode as a downloaded program. You drag the files you're going to use into the program, in this case onto the browser. The exact same principles that I've just used on the downloaded version also applies to the browser version. You need to make sure that everything you enter in the code matches with the next code you're going to use. When you're done with the coding, always remember to press the home button. The rest of what I do now I show only to let you know how it's done on the browser version, but it's just like I should have done it on the program I downloaded. Always remember to press download when you have connected the drone or the remote controller to load the code onto the drone or the remote controller. Now we're going to see if the engines works as intended, and we do that without the propellers attached to the engines. Turn on the airbit, then the remote, click A and B at the same time to power up the engines. If all the engines respond, then they all works as intended. Power off the quadcopter by clicking A and B at the same time, disconnect the battery from the remote and turn off the airbit. Now it's time to attach the propellers. On the picture to the top right corner you can see where the different propellers are supposed to be attached. It is written onto the propellers what kind of a propeller it is, but if you're not sure then you can do what I do now. Blow on the propellers when lying on a table, then you see what direction they are going and thus what kind of a propeller it is. Squeeze the propellers down to the engines until they are firmly attached. Thank you. 
And now some additional information. You can 3D print your own frame for the Airbits or buy new ones from Make It's website. Here you can buy everything from batteries, propellers, propeller protectors and everything you need for the Airbit. This is everything you need to do to complete the building of the Airbit. And here's a couple of small videos of me flying the Airbit just above the ground. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for part 4.